What's up guys, my name's Hugh Miller, and two days ago, Her Interactive put out a, a brand new press release and didn't say anything about it. So we're gonna talk about that in just a second. But before I do, I wanna just point out that the last time Her Interactive put out like a letter to the fans slash press release was February of 2020, which was a long time ago. And this was around, um, yeah, just like Apple's latest updates and whatnot. And before that was the press release for uh, Midnight in Salem's launch. And they were pretty good for a while, especially when Her Interactive was pumping out yearly stuff of putting out press releases, talking about what's going on in the company, and um, talking about new games coming out and all this stuff, and it's obviously been a little while since we've had those show up. Until two days ago, when they dropped this one. So, first off, I am a Canadian. I don't know anything about this news source at all. Um, all I know is that this is a... A press release from Her Interactive written by Jared Newenhouse, and I'll talk about that in a second as well, um, about Women's History Month and how they, they just put this out, and there's a couple things that we're going to talk about in this, and that's it, so let's dive in. So the, uh, the release is titled Celebrating Women's History Month, Her Interactive continues to advocate for women's voices in the video game industry. And so this is obviously a timely thing, considering the new games coming out, they're a company making games for girls, and it is Women's History Month. And so this was, yeah, March 15th, 2024. So female-led video game company prepares to launch highly anticipated new Nancy Drew game, which is highly anticipated because it's been, you know, looked for, people have been looking forward to it for a little while. A little while now. Uh, Renton, Washington, USA, March 15th, 2024. A legacy in gaming, Her Interactive, the award-winning video game de developer and publisher behind the critically acclaimed mystery adventure game series Nancy Drew, continues to empower women in the gaming industry and pursue its ongoing commitment to inclusivity and diversity. Megan Geyser, the company's CEO from 1999 to 2011, built Her Interactive into one of the longest-running game... Si hold on. Built Her Interactive into one of the longest-running game series that appeals to all audiences. Shouldn't it be built Nancy Drew into one of the longest running series? Because I'm pretty sure her interactive is the company, not the games. Uh, since its first video game in 1998, that's not true, because Mackenzie and Company came out in 1995, uh, where players step into the detective's shoes and play as Nancy Drew, the company has relentlessly pursued its mission to elevate women through games. Now, I'm sure people would be like, well, would the first Nancy Drew game came out in 98. Yeah, I know it did, but when it's uh, it right here, this is referring to her interactive. Um, so obviously... The, first, the company's first video game was 95. The company's first Nancy Drew game was 98. So they're not wrong, but they're kind of wrong. Anyways, Penny Milliken. Penny Milliken, a person we have not heard from in a long time. Uh, CEO of Her Interactive remarked, We are immensely proud of the strides Her Interactive has made in bridging the gender gap in gaming. Most women working in, on our current game, the big three, have been playing Nancy Drew games since they were young. Now they are game creators and marketers at Her Interactive. Our female team brings a distinct perspective and passion, allowing us to craft games that resonate with our audiences. Now this is, I'm really glad that they're pointing out, um, pointing this out and, you know, showing that they've been playing the games since they were young and now they are part of the team and helping craft this new one. I think that's really cool. Uh, the upcoming release of Nancy Drew Mystery of the Seven Keys, slated to launch this year. So this is another, this is probably the most official quote-unquote announcement that the game's coming out this year, but again, they don't say when. There's nothing. It's just coming out this year. And again, the fact they didn't even mention that, like, Her Interactive hasn't even brought this up. I wonder how many Her Interactive employees know that this newsletter, or knew that this letter existed when it was put out. I'm very curious. Uh, slated to launch this year not only signifies the continued success of Her Interactive, but also reflects the increasing participation of women in the gaming industry. In parallel with Women's History Month, now is the perfect time to celebrate women's contributions to the gaming industry while focusing on the female-led contributions made daily to Her Interactive and the Nancy Drew series. We are incredibly excited about the upcoming release, said Susie O'Hara, Chief Creative Officer at Her Interactive. Our goal is to continue to make great games by supporting and creating an inclusive gaming environment. It has been a privilege for me to collaborate with such talented teams and, specifically, highlight the many amazing women at every level working on this game. With each new release, Her Interactive continues to cement its position as an inspiration for aspiring female game developers. Each new release, even though the last one was four and a half years ago, four years ago. 
Um, by challenging stereotypes and uh, proving that women can create, lead, and thrive in the gaming world, Her Interactive is reshaping the industry's future one mystery at a time. For more information on Her Interactive and their upcoming title, Nancy Drew Mystery of the Seven Keys, please visit herinteractive.com. Jared Newenhouse, Her Interactive, Jared at herinteractive.com. Now, here's the thing. I was under the impression a while ago that Jared actually left Her Interactive and went on to pursue other things. And that I, I actually found out a little bit ago uh, that this was not the case, that he was actually still at Her Interactive and never actually, like, officially properly left so this yeah it's i think for a lot of people this, or for those that like were not aware that he was still there this might be a bit of a surprise but apparently he's still been there just in a very very like he's still got like one finger in the pie rather than you know his whole hand but anyways um yeah this is interesting it's, it's, it's just i'm just so curious about so many aspects of this because again I, I don't I don't know about weight.com weight news I don't know about any of that so if you happen to know anything about this please let me know because I'm very 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 unfamiliar um, it just seems so interesting to me that they would post it here and they wouldn't post it on their website and then make an announcement about it like that seems weird to me because you'd think that they'd want to you know, bring this up with their community, but apparently not. So anyways, this is just weird. Um, it's cool. It's great. Like, fantastic. Um, again, like, saying that the game's coming out this year, that's weirdly old news now, because I've seen... This is, like, the third time that this has actually um, come up. Uh, it showed up on one of my streams. It showed up in an Amateur Sleuth blog post, and now it's here. So the game is coming out this year. No idea when... But it's, yeah, anyways, it's, I don't know, it's interesting. Let me know what you guys think about all this in the comments. I'm really curious about everyone's thoughts on uh, on this newsletter. And the link to read this is in the description if you want to go read this yourself. Let me know. This is interesting. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a wonderful rest of your day.